click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends there are let's our today's topic is very interesting it is barriers to communication skills all the time we keep kept talking about what are the importance or what are the objectives of communication skills but today we are going to cover up a major topic on barriers to communication skills so friends let's go to the first barrier of our communication skills so let's say physical or environmental barriers caused for by different things by various aspects like time space place climate noise and wrong choice of media so let's go through the first one which is environmental barrier caused by or due to time friends it's very important for us to know that today in our such a fast moving life we are running like a rat race we are doing a rat race we are just running 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 in the walk of our life it's very important to be on time time management is the major aspect of communication skills why because if we are not on time maybe we are not able to communicate well because we've already lost our time to communicate so it's very important for us to understand how important are we supposed to focus on time it's very important to, for us to focus on time majorly have you heard about these terms like timely advice or timely caution these are certain words which remind us that we need to be on time in any way or at any given point of time for 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 example let's take an instance now suppose if i want to meet a person face to face okay and i'm constrained on certain time i'm more i'm running about to un, for my meeting to get done in 2 hours itself because i'm on the face to face conversation but imagine if i have to spread the same word to so many people then we have our post where we give letters to so many people so that not one person face to face but now we are getting more known or open to at least 200 of our crowd for a, for instance for example then comes your where you are now exposed to masses of people now here posts won't work so what happens is your virtual voice so if you go to the railway station and hear the announcement that's the announcement given to crores of people today in india so this is the mass communication process again timeliness so when they announce that this particular train is coming at this particular time it's very important for them to announce before the train comes at the platform and not after because if they do it after the train is off so friends it's very important to be on time and the timely aspects is the major major aspect of communication skills in our modern world it's called the watch clock or the watch world of communication so time is very essential and time management is the major major aspect of communicating it correctly so we've covered one barrier of communication which is the physical barriers due to time let's go to the next barrier of communication skill which is an environmental barrier caused due to place it's very important to choose a correct place or a correct location for communication why because examples work the best so today i'll give you an example of a municipal corporation so suppose if you're working in a municipality or you go to a government office or you go to any any government body and you go to a corporate you will immediately find out the difference in communication so the place the space the area in which you are communicating is may very very important that's the major aspect to select the correct place of communication now if i want to talk about a very serious meeting i will definitely not meet up my colleague or my uh, uh, you know the person who i want to meet up at the garden will i do that no so why because the place matters we have to understand that we have to be on the right place at the correct time for communicating very well so friends this was the second barrier of communication which is the physical barrier caused due to place Let's go to the third one. It's called physical barriers of communication caused due to space. Let's see how we the space is involved for us to communicate really well. 
Now, space play plays a very important role when it comes to an oral communication situation. Now, when I say the oral communication situation means it's a promotion of good communication. How do you promote a good communication? Experts classify an oral communication situation on the basis of distance maintained between the sender and the receiver. So there has to be a distance that has to be maintained between a person who we are talking to. So the sender and the receiver should have the correct space for talk, uh, uh, correct space maintained for talking. Now there is a, this space maintenance is called proximity. Now this is a very very important thing to understand because communicating in that correct way it will not happen if you do not maintain your correct proximity. So let's go through different levels of proximity that we meet that we that we need to maintain while we are communicating. Number one, it's called the intimate zone. Number two is called the person personal zone. Three is the official zone, and fourth is the public zone. Now, how does each space allotment matter to communication? When we talk about an intimate zone, intimate zone is nothing but uh, intimate zone is nothing but maintaining an intimate distance. So if you see a baby and a mother talking to each other, they are always close, they are hugging each other, they are very very close bonding. That is called your intimate proximity level of communication. So their communication is such that they do not really need to speak very loudly because they are so close to each other that even whispers would work. So this is one of your proximity zone. The other is friends, personal proximity zone. Now when we talk about personal zone, it's maybe you and your friend who are sitting just very close next to each other on a table drinking a tea or uh, drinking a cup of tea or a coffee. Now here again, there is, in, it doesn't require you to talk really loudly. What it requires majorly is to be clearer, rather be clearer and softer rather being louder. So this zone where a friend of yours can sit very close to you and talk to you about ish situations or issues of facts or whatever, this zone is called personal zone. The third zone which also maintains your proximity level is your official zone. Now suppose you and your boss are talking across the table. My boss is that side of the table and you are at the other side of the table. Now here there is a little louder, less, a little clearer, a little more focused, a little more concentrated sound or voice should come up or should develop out when you talk to your boss which who is right across the table. Not only boss, if you have a meeting where you have four or five people across the table. So this zone is called your official zone. Now this is a different level of proximity that you need to maintain. Again, you cannot be whispering, neither you can be a little softer the way you were with your friend. So this zone is called your official zone. The last one is the public zone. Now suppose me as a speaker, if I am speaking in front of 200 people, imagine how loud am I supposed to be? Imagine how clear am I supposed to be? Right? So this is a different zone when I am reaching to masses of people. And now I know how loud or how clear am I supposed to sound to all these people in my in the crowd. So when I'm talking to crowd, when I'm talking to masses, when I'm talking, when I'm talking to bulk of people, bunch of people together, I have to maintain a public zone. So friends, these are different zones, intimate, personal, official and public zones. These are called the proximity of communication skills to maintain the communication. Right? So these were your environmental barriers caused due to space. If these things are not maintained correctly and if you keep, if you do not maintain these zones then definitely there are barriers to your communication. But yes, of course if they are maintained well, you do not have a barrier ever in, the, ever in your life. So friends, this video specifies about the barriers of communication skills only for environmental barriers for due to space. The other major aspect or the barrier of communication is definitely environmental barriers due to climate. Never heard about this, right? But yes, climate plays a major role in communication. Now, suppose if there is a very chilly conference room where now it is your time to present and you have a presentation to put up. 
Now imagine if the climate is so chilly that you are not able to concentrate on your PPT or on your PowerPoint presentations or slides. You will not be able to communicate very well. So it's very important and essential to have the correct climate of where you are communicating. So not only the time, the place or the space, but also the climate of that particular room, like the room temperature or all that also matters to communication. Now what if you are in a place where there are no fans and no ACs and you are deadly hot and now you have to communicate something in a very cool way. So that also affects communication because now you really cannot be cool when you are already perspiring. So this is also very important to maintain that climate level, to maintain room temperature wherever you are, which if you are not in the correct frame or the correct room temperature, that also leads to barriers to communication. The other major important barrier to communication is environmental barrier caused due to, the other major barrier to environmental communication is caused due to noise. So to give you an instance, when we were talking on the camera, when I was doing my shoot to get through you friends, there was, it was raining and we had to actually stop because the rain sound was getting into the camera. What if I start talking loudly and want to cover up my voice with the noise? It's not possible. It becomes a chaos and the message is not communicated correctly. So what we did was we had to stop for a moment, let the rain go and then we had to talk. The same way, suppose if you are very close to a very heavy machinery which has a lot of sound around you, a lot of noise around you. And now what you are trying to do is you are trying to talk louder than that sound of that machine. Which also cannot, your message cannot be conveyed in the correct way that you want it to be conveyed. So better go to a place where it is less noisy, where there is built of silence or where it is easy to communicate. So noise plays a major important role of your effective communication. If you are not communicating in a place where there is no noise, that is the major barrier of your communication skills. So talking in a place which is completely noisy is your major major barrier of your communication skills which is your environmental barrier. The other major barrier to communication is barriers due to choice of medium. So a wrong medium or an inappropriate medium of communication is, is chosen by communicating a message with an act which acts as a barrier of communication. Suppose on the shop floor, when, uh, when, a, person, when a salesperson is talking to a customer, he cannot talk too much about a product because then he also has to talk to a lot of other customers. So he cannot spend his time talking only to one customer. That's the wrong medium or wrong choice of medium. But suppose if the way the example that I gave you some time back, that an announcement made on a railway station is for masses of people. Now here, suppose there is a different advertisement going on in the railway and the announcement is not happening. Like if you see there are a lot of advertisements going on on a railway station where people really don't want to listen. So this is a wrong choice of your medium. So friends, a wrong choice of medium is an inappropriate or an inappropriate medium of communication chosen to deliver a certain message will act as a major communication skills barrier. Imagine on a shop floor if we are flooded with instructions and big memos, how can we really get in touch with a lot of customers? No, right? So that's one kind of wrong channel of communication. Imagine. In if, if we are in a conference room and the way of our communication is talking to personally one on one, is now the medium wrong? Yes it is. Imagine if there is someone who doesn't understand English and we are trying to continuously communicate in English and not any other language that he is comfortable with, is that a wrong channel of or a wrong medium of communication? Yes it is. So these are certain wrong decisions taken while choosing a channel or a medium of communication. It's very important for us to understand that we have to have the correct channel. Suppose if I have to convey a certain message to uh, maybe the manager of the company and I am not talking to the manager, I am talking to the subordinates. Is the message conveyed correctly? No, it is not. So this is a major, major aspect of knowing whom we are talking to and what we are talking. So the 
choice of medium of a, for communication is very important. If it's not chosen well, then it completely goes in, it is completely represent as the, it, if it is not chosen correctly, then that's the major barrier of a communication skills. So friends, today we've covered the barriers of communication skills in terms of physical and environmental barriers. Thank you friends for watching this video and please uh, subscribe us at our channel and get stay tuned to Ikeda.